Now that this course and my entire 10-year academic career are coming to an end, it's time for me to look for a new job. Unfortunately, when I look at my list of fun things to do, job hunting is all the way at the bottom, after crocheting dog sweaters, cleaning my reusable straws, and finding rotten blueberries in my fridge. That's because job hunting is the worst. Oh, you want a passionate self-starter with a master's degree and 20 years of experience for an entry-level job that doesn't have benefits? Okay, I guess. And of course, I'm not just looking for any job. I want a job that's going to be good for me and the planet and everyone on it. Because I don't want sustainability to just be a hobby or something I spent years and years of my life studying only to never think about again. I want it to be my job. Lucky for me, and all the rest of you, finding a sustainability job isn't any more difficult than finding any other kind of job. You don't even need to spend years and years of your life getting a PhD first. Which might have been nice to know a few years ago. Hi, I'm Miriam Nielsen, and this is Study Hall Sustainability. As I start the long, arduous, horrible task of job hunting, I should have plenty of options, because sustainability is a growing field. Researchers say we could add 300 million green-collar jobs to the global marketplace by 2050, which is great for me, since green is clearly my color. These green-collar jobs, also known as green jobs, include anything where you're working for Hank and John Green, and also any job that works toward more environmentally friendly practices. They're in fields directly related to the environment, or working to make things better for the environment. For example, maybe I could be a conservation scientist, someone who works for a recycling center, or someone who installs solar panels. Or I could become a landscaper who crusades against lawns, designing backyards and parks with only native trees and pollinator-friendly plants. Or maybe I'll start a cleaning company where I make my own natural cleaning products instead of using harsh cleaners like bleach. But I could also broaden my search and look for a sustainability job. Like green jobs, they also involve work that's good for the environment, but sustainability jobs take it a bit further and also focus on social issues. People in sustainability jobs want to make things better for people, the planet, and our economies as a whole by improving people's well-being and reducing environmental harms. In other words, people in sustainability jobs take a wider view of the ways our communities, businesses, and the environment are interconnected. They work to maintain these interconnected systems while also coming up with ways to make them more just and equitable now and seven generations from now. So if I had a sustainability job, I might have a title like Renewable Energy Analyst, Social Impact Analyst, or Corporate Social Responsibility Strategist. Or I could be an urban planner and do things like developing a city's transit system so people are less reliant on cars. Like say I figured out how to repurpose abandoned city infrastructure to promote safer access to public transit through walking and cycling. To do that, I do something like put together a plan to restore a stretch of abandoned railroad tracks for use as a park and bike trail. In my plan, I'd include elements that ensure human health and safety, like water fountains, outdoor gathering spaces, and access points to bus and train stations. This work definitely involves environmental health, since I'm designing transit systems that reduce carbon emissions. And I would work with a lot of people in green jobs who actually implement those systems. But in my role, I would also consider how those efforts to reduce environmental harm impact human health and the economy. So as I help the city choose materials, suppliers, and transportation that reduces carbon emissions, I would also recommend cost-efficient alternatives to those resources. I'd vet each company to make sure they're treating their workers fairly, and make sure that environmentally friendly urban planning meets everyday human needs, like affordability, convenience, and easy access to transportation. This kind of work pushes us closer to our global goals for resilient infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable communities, and climate action. That's four of the 17 global sustainable development goals set out by the United Nations. And the more people we have in green and sustainability jobs, the closer we come to achieving all of our goals for a sustainable future. Unfortunately, it probably won't get me any closer to finally crocheting those last 22 dog sweaters. Since sustainability jobs are so broad and varied, I'm probably, hopefully, already qualified for one of them, what with my PhD, three master's degrees, bachelor degree, and professional experience. But you never know, if an entry-level job can ask for 20 years of experience, it could also ask for an unreasonable number of degrees. Which I do have. Luckily, there are plenty of ways to get the training and knowledge needed for a sustainability job. One of the most obvious is through college programs. For instance, many schools offer degree programs that emphasize the environmental aspects of sustainability, like conservation ecology, marine biology, and environmental science, which is what I studied. These programs are a great way to really dive into sustainability and gain a deep understanding of our environment and what we need to do to protect it. They may even include hands-on learning through partnerships with sustainability-focused organizations and businesses so students can put their skills to the test. And these programs are becoming more popular as well. The number of environmental science degrees granted by U.S. colleges has gone up by 24% in less than a decade. But there are also less obvious ways to study sustainability, some of which focus less on the environment and have fewer science requirements, like environmental law, architecture, business, and of course, urban planning, which focus on making human systems more sustainable. And even for students who don't want to major in sustainability, many schools offer sustainability courses like this one that can provide general knowledge and foundations that will come in handy in any major or career. But a college degree isn't the only way to build your sustainability skills. Many organizations offer specialized courses
courses and certificates in sustainability training for people who have already begun their careers. One of the most popular is through the Global Reporting Initiative, or GRI. Their professional certification program teaches people to analyze sustainability data and build reports to help businesses and organizations understand how they can become more sustainable. It's a way for people involved in sustainability reporting for a variety of businesses to improve their skills and officially become a certified sustainability professional. Since more companies want to report on their sustainability progress, programs like this one help fill a major need in the business world. There are also certifications for employees who work in specific industries. Building professionals can get a Green Associate Certificate in Sustainable Design and Construction through the U.S. Green Building Council's LEAD program. As part of the process, participants have to pass an exam that tests everything from LEAD certification requirements to picking the right site for a sustainable building. Earning the certificate is like getting a green seal of approval that shows builders, planners, and architects that you know your stuff. Then, with all those degrees and certifications in place, it's back to job hunting, even though I'd rather clean black mold off my water bottle. If I want a job that has sustainability in the title, like say, host of Study Hall Sustainability, or if I want to work for a company that's really serious about their environmental impact, I can probably just type sustainability into the search bar on LinkedIn or another job site. I'll find positions for companies that create new sustainable technologies, or farms designed to capture carbon, or businesses that want to implement better strategies for becoming more environmentally friendly. But that's not the only way to find a sustainability job. We already know that these jobs can be in a wide range of fields, and sustainability isn't always going to be in the job description, which makes it both a lot more challenging and a lot easier to find a sustainability job. See, technically any job can be, and even should be, a sustainability job. So really, all you have to do is A, be a person, and B, get a job. And the way you go about doing that job is what makes it sustainable. Not every workplace is going to have official sustainability roles or strategies, but working in a role that isn't specifically labeled with a big ol' sustainability sticker isn't a barrier, it's an opportunity. For instance, say I take a sharp left turn and get a job in finance for a company that isn't prioritizing sustainability, but they are looking for ways to save money, and I manage to prove that using less packaging saves the company money by reducing costs for materials sourcing, which also reduces how much each product weighs. And less weight means transporting those products uses less fuel, which saves money on transportation too. And that allows the company to get more products on store shelves and boost their profits. Plus, it turns out the company's packaging was made in factories that expose workers to harmful chemicals, so less packaging means less harm for workers. Maybe all that will be the push the company needs to figure out where else they can implement more sustainable practices. Like, maybe the company takes it a step further and puts its savings toward developing new, eco-friendly packaging that's made in a new factory that's safer for workers. Since the company has figured out that eco-friendly packaging equals more profits and happier employees, now our competitors want in on the action. Suddenly, I've started a sustainability snowball that's good for my company and the planet. And not only that, but I've achieved my goal of making sustainability my job. But of course, we're not just talking about my career here. Throughout this course, we've mentioned over and over and over again that to make the changes necessary to make our world more sustainable, it's going to take efforts from individuals, businesses, and governments. For that to happen, we need people working in those businesses and governments who understand and care about sustainability. And that's where all of us come in. Sure, we can make efforts and changes in our own lives to be more sustainable, whether that's carrying a heavy, sticker-covered water bottle everywhere we go, or using reusable straws to protect sea turtles, or reading a company's entire sustainability report before deciding whether to buy their yarn. But we can also be the people in those businesses and organizations who push for more sustainable policies and practices, making it easier for everyone to make more sustainable choices in their own homes and lives. Because that's ultimately the goal of sustainability. It's not about doing things the way we always have and hoping for the best, or stepping back and hoping someone else will fix the problems. It's about believing that it matters to continue working to make the world better for the present and the future. And that work is everyone's responsibility. In fact, it's our job. If you've enjoyed this series and are interested in taking the full Study Hall Sustainability course and earning college credit from ASU, check out GoStudyHall.com or click on the button to learn more. And if you want to help us out, give this video a like, comment what steps you and your employer can take to make your job more sustainable, and smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.